Hey friends, Misha Crossing here, back with another tutorial on the Animal Crossing New Leaf Save Editor for you. If you don't know how to use the Save Editor, you want you to set up your 3DS and your game to hack it or edit it, uh, please follow my step-by-step -step hacking Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo video. I will link it in the description box. It tells you all you need to get started with this. This video is focusing on villagers, one of my favorite little pages to play with. <laughs> so under your current villagers list, obviously, are all of your current villagers. This list is numbered to correspond with villager houses on the map section. Um, see it says villager 2, villager 5, villager 4, house. So villagers 2 would be Clay since a 2 is beside his name. So FYI. Now to change a villager, all you have to do is click on this little pencil icon beside the villager's name and that'll bring up a list um, of every villager that is possibly available. You can move in villagers from the Welcome Amiibo update, ones that you would normally have to have an Amiibo card for, you can just move them right on in. All the villagers are organized by species, so you can see like the alligators are up here, the, the deer are right here, the dogs are down here. And if you want to find a specific villager, I know there's nothing to actually type in, but if you just start typing their name, they'll come up. Like if we wanted... I don't know, who we want? Marshall, sure. So M-A-R-S, and then woo -woo, there's Marshall, it popped up for us down there, so you don't have to just scroll through the whole thing. Now when you click to change a villager, it'll change their picture here so you can see what they look like, it'll show their personality, which you can't change. Now it has two options down here, set villager data to default, catchphrase, clothes, and furniture. If you uncheck this, it will keep the villager data with whatever villager is here first. So Fauna is who I chose uh, to replace, so Marshall would have the same catchphrase, clothes, and furniture in his house uh, that Fauna has right now, if I unchecked this. But most people want villagers to be, you know, themselves with their own catchphrase and clothes and furniture, and not the villager that they had before, so most people would, would check this. You can also choose to have them box, so they'll move the next day if you have a friend that really wants a villager and they're not able to use the save editor, you can just get them for them this way and have them boxed to move out the next day and then you can just come back into the save editor and get whatever villager you want in their place. So to change the villager, you would just press accept and then it changes it to Marshall up here on your list. Similar to editing your own houses, you can change the wallpaper and the flooring here. You just go and search for whatever wall you want up here, select cabin wall, press cabin wall, and it changes Clay's wall to the cabin wall. Then you can change the song that's playing, the shirt that they're wearing, and uh, the umbrella that they carry whenever it's raining. Now changing villagers' furniture is not something that I've personally done, but it shows you it here in more of a list instead of an actual layout for what's in their house. So if you do want to edit a villagers' furniture, I would delete pretty much everything and then just add pieces bit by bit. Maybe add the few main pieces that you want, go into the house and see what's going on, and then just kind of come back and play with it a little bit. As with any part of the save editor, always make a backup save file before you edit anything. Just in case you accidentally do something funky that glitches your game, you can just put your backup save file into the save manager and inject it into your game and everything will be fine again. And then over here you can edit their catchphrase, whatever you want them to say, and it has options for special characters in here if you really want. But it won't show it right here. <laughs> It'll only show it in the game, I suppose. You can also change your past villagers, whoever will show up, you know, on your main street. Uh, I forgot to mention that replacing villagers up here, it completely circumvents the 16 villager cycle rule, um, if you don't know what that is. Uh, previously, if you had, say I had Teddy in my town, he moved out. I could not get Teddy back until I went through 16 other villagers moving out and moving in after Teddy. And that caused a lot of people a lot of grief, like literally just like cycling villagers through their town trying to get um, their favorite villager back that accidentally moved out. But with this, you don't even have to worry about it. You can just go in and edit your villagers to whoever you want. Um, and you can edit your past villagers here to uh, whoever you want to show up on your main street. Over here, you can edit who are in the campsite and the caravans. Uh, this first space here is the actual campsite, the public works project. That's the tent that you build in your town. You can go in here and select any villager uh, you want in there. And then these two down here are for the campground, the Welcome Amiibo campground where the caravans come and park. The first one here is an NPC that will naturally, randomly 
visit, and then the second option is the one that is normally reserved for a uh, an amiibo card being scanned in or an amiibo figure. So Pave is who's just naturally visiting my campground right now, but I could change that to Chip, Nat, Franklin, Sahara, Gulliver, you know, whoever. Uh, on this list here, the NPCs with one asterisk beside their name are the ones, are the NPCs that will naturally show up randomly in the caravan, and then the ones with the two stars here are ones that you would need an amiibo figure for. Okay guys, that is it for the villager page. I hope you maybe learned something or at least enjoyed the video. As always, uh, people will be sharing more information in the comment section. The save editor is really a community-based thing. There's no how-to guide on it, and people are always kind of experimenting with it and discovering new little nuances of it, so be sure to read up all you can on it. Feel free to contribute to the conversation if you want. If you want to follow my other social media, links are in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.